The pyrotechnics in this video are performed by trained and licensed professionals. Do not try this at home. Man, Eggmo, I'm so excited about this company picnic. I get to help with the fireworks this year. Hey, Davey, you about ready for that company picnic today? Hey, Dave, you bet, man. I'm so excited to shoot those fireworks. It's gonna be a great show this year. Did you get your fire extinguisher training finished? Training? Ha! I'm a fire extinguisher expert. I'm almost a little scared to ask. How did you finish your training? I learned everything I know from the internet. I don't think that qualifies you to run a fire extinguisher, Davey. For example, Dave, if you got a paper fire, you put it out with compressed air like this. No, Davey, that's exactly what you're not supposed to do. That's the opposite. If you got a liquid fuel fire, Dave, you put it out with a bunch of water, just like this right here. Oh, Dave, you get water everywhere. You got it on me. You have no idea what you're doing. You mean the internet lied to me? Engineer, we need a safety training ASAP. Did someone call for little engineer to do some safety training? What's with the get up, little engineer? I take safety very serious. You can never be too safe. Yeah, maybe just a little too serious. Davey, maybe you're not serious enough. Dave, go over the types of fires with him. Davey, let's go over the five classifications of fire. We've got the class A fire, which you're trying to blow compressed air on. That's like your paper, cloth. It's like a trash can fire. And that's the last thing you want to do is blow air into that and fuel oxygen and get embers going everywhere and spread those flames. The next kind of fire is a class B fire, which you're trying to throw water on. That's flammable liquids like gasoline and oil and things like that, diesel fuel. Putting water on that is just going to spread that fire and make it even worse. When you get that water on there, it causes it to splash. It can flash into steam and cause an explosion, spreading the fuel all over the place. That's totally dangerous. Then you have a Class C fire. That's your electrical fire. That's something that's either a direct electrical source or a fire inside of an electrical cabinet or a machine and you don't want to put water on that either. That's going to cause shocking hazard. It can cause the fire to spread. It's a very dangerous type of fire. The next fire is class D fire. That's your flammable metal. So you're thinking like titanium, magnesium. These are very dangerous. The fumes emitted from these fires, they can be very toxic. It takes a special fire extinguisher to put these out and you got to be real careful with this type of fire. And the last type of fire is not something we're really going to see in the shop. That's a class K fire. That's a kitchen fire that takes special equipment to fight. It's in your cooking oils. That's why they have the foam systems inside kitchens. They help put the fire out quickly before it spreads to the ventilation system. That's a lot of different types of fires, Dave. Davey, it's important that you know those so you know how to fight them. Dave, go over the fire extinguisher types. So Dave, there are several types of fire extinguishers that are used for fighting various types of fires. So you got what we call a class A extinguisher. That's your water bottle type. That's pressurized water. It's really good on your paper, your firework type fires where you're fighting something that's a flammable cardboard box. That, that's a great extinguisher for that. Another common extinguisher you see in shops is the BC. So it's not good for fighting A fires because it's filled with CO2 gas. And although CO2 gas is not flammable, all that compressed air forcing into the fire, it's going to cause it to spread. It's going to blow those embers around. It's going to be really dangerous. The next type, and it's probably the most common that we see, is your dry chemical ABC fire extinguisher. It has a dry chemical agent. It helps smother the flames. Sometimes the chemical agent can help soak up liquids and those types of things and help eliminate that fire. Then there's another type of extinguisher, it's the class D, and that's fighting those metal fires. That's a dry chemical agent as well. It's really good for those metal types of fires, but it's a specialized dry chemical, chemical agent just for those types of fires because they're very dangerous. And then sometimes we have like an AB foam type fire extinguisher. Sometimes we have our halogenated agents, ABC extinguishers, and then you got your wet chemical foam agents like in your class K extinguishers. All these letters and combinations of letters, I'm getting confused. The main types of fires that we're going to be fighting in our shops 
are gonna be your basic trash can fire, water bottle type, ABC extinguisher. Most shops, you're gonna have ABC extinguisher. That's what we have all over the shop here. It's great for liquid fires. It's great for electrical fires. It's great for fighting those trash can fires as well. So, Davey, I think it's time for you to get out and do some live fire training. What are you guys doing? Hey, boss man. Hey, boss man. We're fixing to do live training on fire extinguishers for Davey. That sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Hey now, guys, I have way more knowledge after my internet fail. I'm gonna go make sure our insurance is up to date. Alrighty, Davey, we're gonna have some fires here. We're gonna have a Class B a fuel fire and a Class A paper fire. All right, little engineer. Davey, you be safe out here. I figure you got this, little engineer. I'll be honest with you, I'm just a little bit scared having Davey do fire extinguisher training, so I'm going back inside. First, Davey, we're gonna have you try the water fire extinguisher so you can see what happens, because you're not supposed to use it on the Class B fire. All right, little engineer. So I'm supposed to pull the pin, assess the flame, and squirt, but I'm not supposed to use this on the liquid fuel. That's what the internet said to do, though. Oh, that's why you're not supposed to use on liquid fuel. That's dangerous. Now, Davey, you're going to have you use the ABC powder extinguisher on the fuel fire like you're supposed to. There's the ABC extinguisher you told me to use. Put it right out. Now, Davey, we're gonna have you try the water extinguisher on the paper fire like you're supposed to. Well, as you told me, no CO2 or compressed air on this kind of fire because it's gonna spread. So I'm supposed to use the water bottle on this one. Pull the pin, assess. That worked pretty good. All right, little engineer, let me have that carbon jump cleaner. No, Davey, don't you sit on fire. Well, engineer, you were right about that internet. I shouldn't be using that for tips on firefighting. Hey, eight ball man, I didn't want you to miss out on any of the festivities, so I brought you some fireworks too. Have fun, buddy.